Hello, I'm George Cummings with your SCB News Break for Monday, April 14th. The Santa Clarita City Council race will finally end Tuesday morning. City officials announced Monday they will be televising the counting of the remaining ballots Tuesday morning on SCV TV. There's more than 900 provisional ballots left to be counted, and several candidates have a shot at the seat vacated by Councilmember Frank Ferry. The counting is expected to take no more than an hour and is slated to begin at 10 a.m. Voters re-elected Mayor Laureen West and Mayor Pro Tem Marsha McLean each for another four-year term last Tuesday. Dante Acosta has a 46-vote edge in the race for third seat right now. Alan Ferdman is close behind, and Gloria Mercado Fortine is 151 votes behind Ferdman. SCV TV, KHTS, The Signal, and College of the Canyons Cougar News hosted a candidates forum for the 36th Assembly District on Saturday. Four of the five candidates participated by answering a series of questions from a panel of local journalists. The forum will be televised on SCV TV Thursday evening at 8 a.m. This is the third candidates forum all four local media outlets have hosted. Forums are being televised now for the L.A. County Sheriff and the 25th Congressional District candidates and can be seen on SCV TV through the June primary election. They're also available online at scvtv.com. 24 trees were planted at Central Park on the, at the 25th annual Earth Arbor Day Saturday. The event fulfills a requirement that allows the City of Santa Clarita to apply for the Tree City USA Award, which it has received the past 24 years. In addition to free activities for residents and kids, 1,000 trees along with mulch and compost were handed out to attendees. Urban forestry tree specialist Wayne Smith says in addition to aesthetic beauty, tree-lined streets can add safety to the community and, at the most basic level, reduce carbon dioxide levels and provide homes for wildlife. Mental, physical, and spiritual strength was put to the test Saturday in Valencia. 18-year-old Casey Monahan and 28-year-old Tim Adams have been training in mixed martial arts for more than four years. They each participated in a grueling five-hour test to earn their black belt at the new 11,000-square-foot Ekota Training Center and Urban Retreat this weekend. Ekota's training is a unique blend of four disciplines of martial arts, all focused on combat and self-defense. Both students passed the test on Saturday and say this is only the beginning for them. Officials from the Santa Clarita Aquatic Center are planning their fifth annual Splash and Dash egg hunt this weekend. The event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m. on Saturday, April 19th at the Santa Clarita Aquatic Center on Center Point Parkway. It's the first day of the season that the water slide pool is open to the public, and the free event offers a fun way for kids to celebrate spring. Children ages 10 and under can collect eggs with prizes in the water slide pool. A parent must accompany all small children and are encouraged to swim with their child. Life jackets are available at no charge. Admission and parking is also free, but participants are encouraged to bring non-perishable or canned food items to be donated to the Santa Clarita Food Pantry. Turning to weather, warm and windy in Santa Clarita Monday. Highs reached into the mid-80s with wind gusts topping out at more than 40 miles per hour. More warm weather is in the forecast this week. Sunny skies with highs in the upper 80s are expected Tuesday. Then we'll see a dip in temperatures as we continue on through the week with highs expected to dip into the mid-70s by Friday. That's all for now. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for watching. I'm George Cummings.